Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful product, product review video guys for any of you looking uh, for a dash camera, rear view dash camera that has integrated screen guys. Uh, it has integrated battery and comes with a wireless rear view camera or a rear dash camera as well. You can use it in two modes. We're going to talk about that. Make sure to send to the end. This is amazing product that we'll recommend it. Uh, it's really convenient and if something happens you're on the road you get uh, in an accident you can always prove okay whose fault it was as well uh, now before we start let me tell you a little bit about us every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we guys do that because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can how we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these free videos and if you want to know more about that company where you can get the product from and all that stuff we're going to guys put the link in the description of the video below and you can uh, check where you can get it from it's a really good price it's affordable guys uh, and it's a product that i'll definitely recommend so let's explain what we have specifically here now we'll be installing it on that fiat 500 the bar you can use it guys on rvs uh, uh, motorhomes things like that it will be super convenient because the wireless uh, rear camera will not require a wire to run all the way to the front which makes it a piece of cake easy installation as well um, this is the rear camera right here you can see uh, it just mounts to the license plate uh, it has integrated battery and you can use it in two different ways okay it comes with a night vision as well one is you can use it as a reverse assist camera or the other way you can guys use it uh, to record all the time as well uh, now this is the mirror here itself it comes with the clips that we have okay uh, we're going to install it uh, they send us even a, a plastic panel removal too which is amazing uh, amazing guys uh, device uh, we have uh, here for the antenna okay that we need to install the antenna there a few zip ties we have a, an allen wrench uh, and a few uh, check this thing out a few wires where you don't even need to cut any wires this is a special clip that attaches to an existing wire so we can uh, create the communication so let's go ahead and install it quick we'll put it to the test and see how it works so we're going to mount it on the license plate right here uh, and we're going to go ahead remove the license plate okay we just have two screws that we need to remove oh a little bit dirty underneath that breaks my heart now right here guys we need to get a small screwdriver you can see and uh, we have one notch right here that we need to price so uh, let's grab the screwdriver and we're going to go ahead okay uh, remove the tag light and connect it permanently to the tag light so yep right there yep pry and pull out that way it will get power all the time when we have the lights on it will recharge the battery uh, and another thing okay uh, for safety you know most people actually even drive with the lights on nowadays even most countries uh, require that uh, to drive with the lights on uh, we're going to connect it here or if you want to connect it as a rear uh, uh, assist camera you can turn it on the actually guys on the reverse light bulb uh, but if it's recording all the time all you have to do wake up the mirror practically turn it on and you can see even when you're backing up it will be on and you will be able to see so the red wire is a positive black one is negative in most cases you can always test them but uh, uh, in most cases that will be uh, that will be the case so what do we did guys it comes with those uh, amazing amazing wire connectors that you don't need to cut your wires okay all we have to do put the existing wire for the tag light that we removed here we put uh, the dash camera uh, cable here as well and all we have to do just uh, close them with the pliers practically uh, it connects the two wires without cutting them we're going to push everything in now okay and uh, now we're going to uh, see exactly where to situate everything how to uh, get in because it's a little bit of limited space but we should be able uh, to make it work let's see now because that fiat is a very very small vehicle guys so let's see if we'll be able to go this way because something we need to push things out of the way because one of the connector is there okay let me see we need to position it a little bit more to the right 
So we got it in and we just mounted it under the license plate. Now we're going to get the more license plate going. Uh, the little hex key that they send us, it's for the board on this side and the other side. And practically you can change the angle if you need to, which is very, very convenient. So uh, now we need to go inside guys, okay, and show you what we need to do there. It's very easy by the way, the setup is super easy. Okay, and here I'm going to turn lights off and ignition off because we wanted to test the connection before we put everything what do we have here this is guys okay uh, this is practically the antenna and the power supply for the uh, front mirror and the antenna for the rear view mirror so if you look now okay we installed the antenna here the one that was in the box so we went ahead and we installed that one we're gonna go ahead plug it to the cigarette lighter port okay the uh, mirror we're going to remove the protector protective film amazing quality mirror by the way okay you can see it's simply amazing these are the two wires that we have here one is for the av that's for the signal from the rear view camera the other one is for the power supply so we're going to go ahead a little bit of fiat has a, a mirror that's really cheaply made anyway so that thing will look much better guys okay much better than what we have there so we're going to go ahead okay install it there now with the rubber bands and we're going to go ahead turn everything on see how it looks so what i like about those rubber bands is that they're really easy to adjust so one second here because we need to get the dash okay check this thing out you can actually pull the camera in and out if you need to if it doesn't fit correctly over your mirror or you have a little bit bigger mirror it's adjustable so that makes it super convenient next we're going to feed the wires guys okay and uh, we're going to continue with the next step next we'll turn the ignition switch on let's go ahead okay turn the lights on so the rear camera can activate as well uh, when you have green signal means that you have communication with the rear camera if it's red it means that it doesn't work we need to insert memory card now uh, but uh, you can see it's recording now on the rear and the front and if you want you can go to uh, settings okay and you can go to dual or single right here now uh, you can uh, have different uh, different parameters let me show you here uh, you have the Psychos, Exposure, HDR, Motion Detection, Watermark, uh, Sound, Date, all that stuff guys will be, uh, will be there. So you can adjust multiple, multiple components. You can go to Record or Settings or Files and you can even check your files here. You can put the auto shut down. Uh, you have the frequency, key sound. Uh, uh, you can see multiple multiple things and uh, you have the date and time right here if you need to uh, do adjustments there as well now uh, if you want to access files they'll be right here but we don't have the SD card right now I'll go ahead okay and insert it in a little bit and uh, we will see uh, how it works and all we have to do is just go to record and you see if you want to turn it off you can make it automatically to turn off through the settings or you can go ahead press the button you have a rare, uh, uh, just a normal rear view mirror you press the button it wakes up guys okay or you just touch it as well check it out now okay all i have to do touch it and if you want that way you can wake it up and you can use it for a rear view camera as well when you back up for assist it will be on all the time instead of just turning on when you have the uh, car in reverse gears and it has integrated gps you can see it automatically adjusts the time and all that stuff so uh, that is uh, super super convenient guys because everything uh practically is uh, being set on its own you can change it if you need to uh, but you can see it's uh, really easy to use so let's go ahead and put it to the test now and see how it records <laughs> 